Hey, line for line, ain't no comp in this rap neither. Why you waiting? Line for line and keep doing numbers. I gave him the game, trust we live for the summer. Got doctors and artists and athletic speakers. Come learn from my come up, I'm better in peace. I'm in love with the grind, yeah, grind. I'm in love with the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this for the fam, fam. do this for Kenosha. You know I got you, Kenosha. If you got the vision, yeah. then come a little closer. Come a little closer. Let's get it together. Let's go. Life aligned with the soldiers. I'm in love with the grind, I'm in love with the culture. With the culture yeah. Do this for the fam. fam. Do this for All right. Just like that, we're back in another very special episode of Line for Line podcast. I have two very special gentlemen in the building. I'll let them introduce themselves to the world. Uh, Jameer Davis. Jaden Gordon. And I'm going to see I'm your host with the most, Devon Booker. As we get ready to get started this episode, just tell the people just a little bit about the two of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we both go to St. Joe's or Juniors. Yeah. And yeah, we be playing sports. Gotcha. Come on, can we get a little bit more than that? He's, he's a, um, we go to St. Joe's and we play sports and that's it. I, I play football, I wrestle, and I do track. Uh, yeah. I, I've been wrestling for about 11 years, mm -hmm. since I was like four, and football since I was nine. How about you? Yeah, I play football, basketball, and I do track too. I played basketball since third grade, and I started playing football in eighth grade. Gotcha. How the two of you two, I, I can't talk for somebody today, how the two of you get to know each other and get to get to interacting? So it's crazy, bro. So we actually went to the same elementary school in second grade. Okay. How old were you there? Nah, it was in kindergarten. Kindergarten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We were at the same. It was McKinley Elementary School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We really met. And then where'd you go? You? Uh, I went to Grevino. And then I went to K-Tech until sixth grade. And then I went to Lance. Yeah. And then we uh met back at high school. St. Joe's. At St. Joe's, right? Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. How was it like for you guys over there at St. Joe's? Crazy man, uh, it's it's very chill school. I would say because it's not a lot of people than mm -hmm. like regular public schools. Yeah. So it's super laid back. The classes are pretty small. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh -huh. So with you guys being friends off of the field and on the field, what's the camaraderie like between the two of you while you're on the field? How is it that you communicate to each other? Uh, I say we trust each other a lot. Like, yeah, that's my brother, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the positions that the two of you play as well. Uh, I play wide receiver and corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I play running back and uh, linebacker. So you guys both play both sides of the ball. Yeah. Now, do you start on both sides of the ball as well, too? Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about that process, because this seems like you have to be beat after a game playing both sides of the ball, especially competing at such a high level, Mr. 281 yards. <laughs> yeah, it's very tired, man. Like, I remember the recent game on Friday. I was so tired the first half, just, like, going back and forth. I remember... One of our guys, uh, somebody scooped and scored, and then like I'm trying to rush down the whole field, try to get him, but mm -hmm. after that I was just yeah. done, and yeah. I was just so hot, like he was gassed. Huh? Yeah, I was gassed after I had to sit down. Now, what about you, Mister Receiver? Because you're blocking. If you're not running, you're blocking. You're just involved in every play almost. Tell us a little bit about that for you. Uh, it's a lot of preparation mentally and physically playing mm -hmm. both sides of the ball because you got to know like calls on offense and on defense. So. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on. Yeah. Now, with you guys being juniors out there as well, you obviously got the younger kids looking up to you as well, too, because you're part of that crowd. What are some things that you're telling your teammates or things that you're showing your teammates to lead by example? I just feel like you really just stay positive towards the young guys, encourage them to keep working hard, even like through the hardships, just keep going, you know, just kind of like just guide them in a way, be, mm -hmm. be that big brother to them. You feel me? What about you, young man? Uh, yeah, we just got to be a leader out there, uh, make sure everyone's on the same page. And Now, I know that you guys are the role models as well, too. Who are some role models for you two? Uh, last year, I would say Ben Butler and DeAndre Baptiste from our squad. Mm -hmm. What about you? I would say, yeah, Dre, DeAndre, and CT. He was number four, right? Yeah. Yeah, with the dreads. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely remember seeing him out yeah. there going Kid crazy. Free too. Yeah. yeah. Now, how how is it? How much of that the impacts your guys' playing style now? With you guys having people like that go off to college, people who are pillars of the team. I feel like pieces of them like stuck with us also, and yeah. like a lot of the energy that they brought, like we kind of like bringing that over to our team mm -hmm. also, yes, sir. especially with the new freshmen coming in, just showing them the way. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, I think a lot of people want to know about this most recent game that you guys played, which was the season opener. Just tell us a little bit about what was going on out there for you guys, along with your stats as well, too. Uh, Yeah, so the first half was a bit sluggish, you know. We was getting locked up. and Oh, for real? Yeah. It was like 7-7. Seven to seven, Yeah, seven but to seven. I got the opening touchdown. 
off a of hitch and go. Yes, sir. So I had to go up and get it and run in the end zone. So that put some momentum going in the second half. Mm -hmm. And we had a good halftime speech and brought each other up, you know, try to clean up the mistakes. Mm -hmm. What about you, young man? What was it like for you out there? Yeah, I really feel like second half is where we start turning up. Like we started being more vibrant, more positive, like or just like getting that energy going. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, how um, many touchdowns was it exactly? I scored four touchdowns second half. On how many yards? 280 yards. Take us a little bit through that performance. How were you able to just put up such a memorable performance? I feel like it's all because of my blocking. You know, we our last year our line was just like young, mm -hmm. good sophomore, just really trying to improve. This year, our line's like got way more energy. Yeah. Coaches right. coming in. Upper like, class, man. Them. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like line really paving the way. Now, what was the conversation like with you and the guys after putting up such a great performance? We were stoked. Yeah? Yeah. Are, are you still, like, still shocked by <laughs> it that you were just able to go that crazy? Uh, Yeah. I this this That's the most yards I've had in the game so far. Nah. -uh. Yeah, and, and I think most touchdowns. I Four think, touchdowns. Yeah. What does it feel like getting into the end zone for that first, second, third, fourth time? Like, I feel like the first, the first like, three is like, okay, we get in there. And then just, like, after that, it's like, okay. Yeah. You know, just how does it feel to be a phenomenon around the city? You know, all of the newspapers covering you. Everyone wanted to interview you. Just tell us a little bit about what it's like in the spotlight. Uh, it, it feels good, you know, but I just like to stay humble. You feel me? I don't like bragging about everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, how about you, sir? Because you put up a couple touchdowns and a lot of yardage as well, too, sir. What was it uh, like for you? Yeah, I just like shout out Eric, man. He trusts me. Uh -huh. on the ball out the air, throw it up. Let me yeah. go get it. Yeah. Now, is there anyone out there that helped you guys get along to where you're at now that you would like to shout out to people that you are grateful for that helped you get here now? Uh, the old line, really. How about you, young man? Uh, I'm thankful for Coach Vasos. He's like really helped me improve yes. like myself mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what are some things that you guys tell yourself and your teammates, whether you're losing or winning? What are some things that you're saying? Uh, if you make a mistake, you got to move on to the next play and keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you, know, sure you can't be... Getting in your feelings, you got to get in your bag. Like, yeah, you yeah. can't be doing all that. Gotcha, Dang. gotcha. Now, as we get ready to close out this phenomenal episode, I want to tell, I want you guys to tell me one thing that you guys can improve on as a team and individually. Uh, as a team, I feel like we should have more energy going in the next game mm -hmm. and don't be looking past anyone. Mm -hmm. Like, we just got to dominate straight out the gate and still win the second half to go off. What about you? I feel like. We really, yeah, I feel like our energy, just like knowing that we could go out there and really punish like the other team, like really take that win mm -hmm. versus like doubting ourselves, you know, because we're, we're, we got some good guys on there. I feel like we could really go all the way. Just are we willing to put in that hard work to get there? Yeah. Now, if there was one thing that you could improve on, what would you say it would be? <sighs> I would say trusting like my vision, trusting my vision. Just as soon as I hit that, just go. You mm -hmm. know? Really just trusting in myself. What about uh, you, sir? What can you improve on? Yeah, being more of a leader on defense and getting everyone hype, mm -hmm. making more tackles, you know, getting to the ball more. Yes, sir. Now, who do we play next, this upcoming week, actually, since Sunday today? Who do we play this Friday? Uh, we're going to be playing Wauwatosa East. We're hosting at Amici Field at Trimper. At what time? 7 yeah. p.m. So you guys heard it here, 7 p.m. We're going to see you guys at Amici Field, right? Yes, sir. Come out and support. Now, is there any spirit week or anything like that going on, like all blue or anything like that that they should know of? Uh, student section hasn't decided yet. So Yeah, yeah we'll so we see. leave it up to them, huh? We continue. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, with that being said, young man, we greatly appreciate you guys for coming to Line for Line, giving us a little bit of your time. You calling, are you listening? Tune in every week. Line for Line. Oh, yeah, I'm going Line for Line.